Emma, the, uh, the vaccines that we've been discussing uh, require two doses. The UK, though, has taken a more flexible approach to administering the second dose. Give us the latest on the ground in the UK when it comes to the second dose and what public health experts are, are, are saying there. Yeah, so public health know. experts when... The... Yeah, go ahead, Emma. So public health experts uh, in the UK, when they approved the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, uh, said that it was... Uh, OK, essentially, for the time between the first and the second dose of the vaccine to be extended to up to 12 weeks. They said it was essentially better uh, to get more people have one uh, part of the two-shot regimen uh, than to try and give, every, give a smaller number the two shots uh, and then uh, kind of expand to more people. And so uh, that's been extended to about 12 weeks. We do know, of course, uh, that with the Pfizer-BioNTech one, that it's sort of a similar two-shot regimen, that that has also potentially been extended between the first and the second shot. But we know that the first person to receive that shot in the UK and in fact in the world uh, she's already had the second shot mm. of that so it's not that oh, those second shots will only be given at 12 weeks they're just giving themselves a longer period within which to give that second shot it has come under some criticism because some people have perhaps questioned the evidence whether or not there is enough evidence uh, to say that that longer period between the first and the sec second shot uh, is, is, is warranted uh, but at the moment the UK is certainly going ahead uh, with giving itself a longer time before giving the first and second doses. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.